guys, welcome back to the DNS channel. Today, I'm giving y'all, you, a freshman advice. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you are new, make sure you hit the subscribe button and like this video for more amazing content. As y'all know, this is like my favorite time of year. I used to watch these videos when I was gonna be a freshman, so I just know I know I wasn't the only one. Of course, I want to watch it too. So go ahead and tune in with me as I give y'all some advice for freshman year. Number one, high school is not like middle school. Most of the time when you're going from elementary school to middle school, they're going to say, those teachers are not going to put up with that. You know, those teachers are going to be harder on you. Y'all have to realize that you're in a school with people that are 17, 18, maybe 19. Y'all are young adults, but they're like adults now, okay? And their maturity level is on a whole different level. You might do some stuff, they're going to look at you like... You're literally setting yourself up for your future in high school. Like more stuff in high school matters than any other elementary or middle school test does. Like, come on now. So just know it's not gonna be the same. Number two, we're starting out real strong. Everybody is not your friend, bro. Like, I mean, don't be going around telling everybody your business. And trust me, I'm a friends girl. I would, I have friends like all the time. This summer made me realize that half of those people that I thought were my friends are not really my friends, they're just my acquaintances. And I just look at them in the hallway and say, hey. Number three. You have school friends and outside friends. Like you have your day ones, maybe somebody has, who has been there since kindergarten, and you have somebody you just met maybe last year or in freshman year. Our school friends are people that if you need some help in the class, you know, maybe your teachers, I don't know, left the class, you're like, hey, like, can you help me on this problem? School people in school. You have your outside friends, right? People you're gonna go hang out with the mall, people you can go out to eat with, you know, people that you talk to outside of school that you can trust. People that are in school are just there to help you throughout the day. You know, y'all are cool. Number four is do your work. Trust me, y'all, you're not losing nothing by just doing your assignment and turning it in. Yes, the workload is gonna be harder, especially if you're taking honors, AP. What if you're taking that is higher advanced? It's gonna get to you. Your grades now matter. This is the year that it matters. Just try your hardest, y'all. Like, I'm not even trying to be like even pushing this onto y'all. Don't be scared of high school. Just know that there's gonna be maybe a little bit more work you're not used to. Teacher might have like a different grading uh, grading rule. <sighs> I'm not gonna lie. Don't be loud in the hallway. Just like, I don't know, don't be so rowdy in the hallway. I'm not even trying to be like, I'm not even trying to like parent y'all right now, but I'm parenting y'all. Please don't be loud in the hallway. It's not cute. What is, what are you doing? Mind your business. You see a fight, you see drama going on. Don't be that person that runs into the middle and be like, let me see what's going on, let me record. Don't try to be in people's business. Don't try to like be that girl that, has like all the information and people run to you to get information out of you about so and so and just it's just not cute this is more of a motivational one be positive don't be negative on yourself i have post-its on my wall that say like you got this don't let people let you down ever don't let people get to your head stay positive okay let people talk about you trust i've been talking about mad this year you know what i did not do what did i do do my work yes this one's just like to put out there have fun it's your freshman year, it's your first year of high school. Don't let it get to your head. My freshman year flew by. Here's a cute subject to talk about, relationships. Don't do it. And my parents gonna be watching this. Hi mom, hey dad, how's it going? I feel like this is something that even if I don't talk about, it's gonna be in the comments. I'm just gonna regret not talking about it. But relationships, you want your little boyfriend, you want your little girlfriend, don't do it. <laughs> Don't do it. I'm not gonna go deep down into freshman year about that. If you need tutoring, go to tutoring. Ask questions during class. Oh my gosh, ask questions during class. If you're just a quiet person, just wait till after class. Trust your teacher will probably write you a pass to your next class. Like, you're good. If somebody laughs at you, half the time you probably got a higher grade than them. So, if you're in sports, have fun with the sport. Try sport. I was, I played basketball. I love basketball. Basketball is literally my favorite sport. I'll pick it over anything any day. But next year, I'm not doing that. But anyways, try sport, it's fun. Try volleyball, try softball, try soccer, try basketball, try tennis. There's so much choices you have. We have wrestling, we have swimming, we have golf. We have so much stuff at our school. I don't know if y'all have that, but we have a lot. And honestly, try a new sport. If you've never done a sport, try it. Trust me, the coaches are cool. They're, you're gonna get along with them really good. Take notes in your classes. You will need them, especially if you're in some honors and AP classes. Note taking is like your number one best friend. Even in regulars. Number one best friend, like you can never go wrong. Writing a little note on the side of your journal will always, always, always help you. Work smarter <laughs> and not harder, honey. Work on what you need to do, not what you want to do. If you're like, man, I need to work on this assignment, 
but I low key want to go outside with my friends, do an assignment, then go outside with your friends. Prioritize your stuff before you do social life. Unless you need it and you're like mentally unstable at the moment. Sorry, that's a bad word to say, honestly, mentally unstable. That sounds so wrong, should I stop? Okay guys, so get organized. Don't let stuff just scramble around. Don't let your homework get out of hand. Don't just sit in your bed watching TikTok. Trust, that's tempting, but don't do it. Dante's room, he had like a board, I would write like, make sure to finish this essay, make sure you finish this math assignment, you know? Just like, stay on top of your game. Be organized, try to, try to stay on top. Go to class, go to class. What are you doing in the hallway? Why are we skipping? Honestly, leave that in middle school. That skipping stuff, leave it. I'm yet, I've never skipped a day in my life. And I, I don't, I know I will never. Another one is while you're in class, make new friends. Maybe on the first day, I hope y'all don't do that little around the classroom thing where the teacher is like making each one of y'all say something about yourself. Oh, I hate that. But it helps, you know, maybe you might see somebody, they might like, they might like dogs, they might like Snickers, they might like the same Gatorade color, they might like something. You're like, hey, that girl or that dude looks real cool to be friends with. I'm usually friends with guys and I hate that cause y'all gonna come after me for saying that trust. But I just can't do girls. Like they just cause so much drama. I actually don't even talk to nobody. If y'all see my messages right now, I have like three friends in there right now and the rest of my family, so. Prioritize your mental health. If you're like getting overly stressed out, don't force it. Please, if you're, if you're sitting around your desk and you're literally crying your eyes out, Put it down, put it down. If you feel yourself getting a fat headache, you're like, oh my God, like trust. Trust me, just put the pencil down, put your pen down, close that Chromebook. If you don't feel good, if you're going through stuff in your house, at school, if you're getting bullied, let me not start on that. If you just catch yourself crying too much, please just take a step back. Watch your favorite TV show again. Relax, okay, relax. And trust me, your teachers are gonna understand in high school. I've never seen teachers be so understanding. I've had so much understanding teachers this year. I cannot believe. I like teachers you can actually talk to and vent to. They understand you, trust me. Hey, bullying, quit it. What is wrong with y'all? Honestly, I have to really think to myself, what is really wrong with people that bully in high school? Like, what are you on? Are you good? Like, are you just that insecure? Like, just don't. Don't do it, you're weird. Honestly, if you bully bro, you're weird. Here's another one. Try to go to like games, Hoko. I don't know, just try to go to like school activities. They're gonna be fun. I didn't go to Hoko, so I can't really say it for myself because honestly, they was over pricing that and I heard it was lame anyway. So I didn't go to my schools. but if you know your school has like a fun Hoko and like you're just like, of course, like I wanna go, then go. I went to um, some football games and trust me, those varsity games, or Liddy, they were Liddy. I'm gonna be that girl. I'm gonna be that girl. I'm sorry, I'm gonna be it. Stop walking slow in the hallway. Oh my God, what is that? What is y'all's problem? High school's way more crowded, and y'all take y'all stopping face to face with y'all's friends and yapping. That's there's people that like me that actually need to get to class. My school is three floors, three main hallways. But trust me, them stairwells. My class could be at third floor and I need to go all the way down to first floor. And I have to take those stairs, going around in a circle, and y'all here stopping and yip yapping like, come on. I don't care if you're an athlete, I don't care if you have an off period, get the way then. Move to the side. There's people that need to get somewhere where they need to be. Some people don't want to be on top of their game and you're not. This is the last thing of the video. Don't stress it. Please don't stress it, guys. Have fun. Freshman year in high school overall is gonna go in a, like a snip. Snip, snip, snip. It's gonna go by super duper fast and you don't even realize it. Have fun the night before, do your skincare, do your lash extensions, do your nails. Like, it's gonna be super duper fun. Trust me, you're gonna have the best time of your life. Do not stress it. That was my advice for y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed so much. I love doing these videos. If you want a part two on stuff I did not catch up on because trust, I just know that I'm missing something and while I'm editing this video, I'm gonna just be like, I should have said that. Stay tuned for more back to school shopping videos. Stay tuned for the first day of sophomore year video. I cannot wait. Hey, we almost had 2K subs, like. <laughs> Love you guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this advice. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Have fun in high school. Love you.